Hi everybody, my name is Dr. Dan and I'm a veterinarian and welcome to the classroom. Oh, hey Dr. Dan, are we talking about my intestines today? I can't wait to learn about how they help me digest and absorb my food. I love dog food. The small intestines are made up of three parts. First, we have the duodenum. The duodenum is the first part of the small intestine and it attaches to the stomach. When the stomach is done digesting the food, the food falls into the duodenum. The duodenum finishes off the digestion that was started by the stomach. Digestion starts in the duodenum. The next part of the small intestines is the jejunum. The jejunum is the middle part of the small intestines and it is by far the longest part of the small intestines. Did he say jejunum? Weird. That sounds made up. Jejunum. <laughs> the jejunum does the majority of the absorption, which is pulling the nutrients, pulling the energy, all the protein and carbohydrates and fat out of the food, out of the digested food, into the dog's body. The last part of the small intestines is the ileum. The ileum does some absorption. It's all about linking up the small intestines to the large intestines. When my puppy eats his food, his stomach breaks it like it should. Da, 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 da. Then it moves to parts so small. The small intestines three in all. Duodenum comes up first. Mixes bile and juice that burst. Right from stomach it begins. Breaking food for nutrients within. Jejunum's next. And oh so long. so long, it's the middle working strong. So long. Soaks up goodness every day, protein sugars on their way. Helium comes at the end where small and large intestines blend. Takes what's left, it does its part before the waste can make a start. Tudinum, jejunum, helium too. All help dogs just like you. When pups eat their kibble meal, these parts help. Let's summarize this. The first part of the small intestines, the duodenum, is all about digestion. It's taking enzymes and bile, and it's digesting the food the rest of the way down. Digestion starts in the duodenum. Once the food is digested and it gets to the second part of the small intestines, the jejunum, and then the final part, the ileum, are gonna do all that absorption, all the food all the nutrition possible. And what isn't absorbed is of course, pooped out. I had no idea that the dog's small intestine absorb and digest food. That's amazing. Let's go ahead and jump into today's worksheet. Go to the website, print it off, let's get started. Hi everybody, and welcome to the next portion. We're gonna go over our worksheet. What we have here is we have the small intestines. It's a cartoon, but it's the small intestines. And we have the start, the middle, and the end of the small intestines. And we have our three sections of the small intestines over here. We have our duodenum, jejunum, and ileum. And right now they are in order. They go duodenum being first, jejunum being second or the middle, and the ileum being the last one. Let's go ahead and cut this out so we can go ahead and do our worksheet. Duodenum, jejunum, and ileum. We're going to go ahead and we're going to take this and we're going to match everything up. 
Got to do Wadnam first. Jejunum second. And Ilium last. Let's mix them up. And let's even turn them upside down. All right. We're going to go ahead and turn this first one over. And it's the Ilium. Does the Ilium start, middle, or end the small intestines? The Ilium is going to end the small intestines. It's going to link up to the large intestine. Which one should we pick next? Let's do the big one again. The duodenum. Does duodenum start or is it the middle section? The duodenum starts everything off. And our last one is going to be the jejunum. The jejunum is the middle section. And just like that, we've labeled and organized the small intestines with their names. If you want to go ahead and do this again, feel free to. We're going to keep this right here so you can remember everything is. And now we have some questions. We're going to answer a few questions now. There's quite a few here, but don't worry, everybody. It will go fast. The first question is, and please feel free to look back to our diagram if you're not sure of what the intestinal tract portion is called or where it starts or ends in the intestines. The first question is, what is the first part of the small intestines called? If you know it, go ahead and just say it out loud. If you're not sure, let's look back. The duodenum starts everything off. So in this case, the answer to this one would be the duodenum. What is the middle part of the small intestines called? It's the jejunum. What is the last part of the small intestines called? The ilium. What part of the small intestines connects the stomach to the small intestines? So remember, the stomach comes first before the small intestines. So if the stomach comes before the small intestines, what will be the first part that connects the small intestines to the stomach? The start. It's going to be the duodenum. What part of the small intestines connects the large intestines to the small intestines? The large intestines is after the small intestines. So we need to look at our diagram again. If the stomach started it and the, and the large intestines finish it, it's gonna be the ilium. And finally, you all did so good. What part of the small intestines is the longest? part of the small intestines, the longest. Let's look over here. Look how long that middle section is. What do you think? It's gonna be the jejunum. You all did so very well today. Thank you for joining me for this section of our homeschool classes. And if you are a homeschooler, please feel free to comment in the section below. If you are a public schooler or a private schooler that's joining us for more content, thank you for joining us as well. You all have a great day and we'll see you in the next video.